KG, Sydney Water Police. This is Police Launch Harpy. We've got a distress flare over Piermont. Ah, uh, not more of this marina crap. Yeah, it looks like it. This is the Water Police. Remain where you are for your own safety. Do not attempt to climb down. No, Rena! I repeat, remain where you are. Get us in there, will you, Andy? KG Sydney Water Police, this is Police Launch Harpy. We have found a body under the wharf. Down there, Jack. What do you got, mate? A lot of the lacerations of courtesy of the mollusks attached to the wharf. The others is tiny shards of glass embedded in some of them. Yeah. What, like she fell through a window, say? I won't know if she was dead before she hit the water till I get her on the table, really. Could she have been bought from somewhere else and dumped here? Check the crime scene. They seem pretty interested in a tyre print over there. It's a wide-bodied print with a low profile. There's more to come, but it may not be even related. Well, it looks like she was rolled into the water here, weighed to sink. The chain got caught around a strut down there. The tyre went out, and there she was. What you got? I've got to mention here, M. Chopper something. Okay, yeah. No um, other ID. Miss, Mr. Chopper hairdressing salons. Fancy new joint in the city. Can't see the appointment time, but it looks like Friday. OK, let's uh, get on the mix, see if you can get a name for us. Hey. What sort of a name is Sondra? Well, I don't know. The hairdresser gave me the name. Sondra McIntyre. She's a model. And the crime scene thinks she was killed here? Yeah. Sorry, it's not Sandra. It's not Sandra. Sondra. And no sign of a break-in. What's that tell us? Friend of Sondra's? Maybe flatmate. Seems like she shared. Yeah. Elise Pritchard. She must be a model, too. I mean, all this mail here comes from all agencies, pretty recent. Right, well, let's hope one of them can tell us where she is. Need to get onto this Elise. Right, there was glass found in the body, so Sondra must have fallen through this. Accident, maybe pushed. Alex, how'd you go in the bedroom? Alex? Yeah, no, nothing. Right, well, something's missing from over here. Come with me, mate. They left the pillow, but they took the pillow case. All right, full of white. Well, there's the valuables, the television, the video. It's no ordinary robbery. Someone was looking for something and I want to find out what it is. Maybe try talking to the boyfriend, Matthew Grierson. I knew him ages ago. We grew up in the same suburb. Grierson? Why does that name ring a bell? Uh, Grierson Constructions. He's a property developer. He's doing the new marina. <laughs> Yeah, Detectives Christie and Riley, Sydney Water Police. We're after a Matthew Grierson. Right, um, I'm Todd, his brother. Well, what do you want him for? Mr. Grierson. When did you last see her? Uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, three. Todd. Um, yeah. Yeah, about that. And what exactly was your relationship with her? We had been seeing each other, but we'd split up. Um, that's 
why she came to see me to talk. She hadn't quite accepted it. Right. And you had words you, you fought? There's no real animosity between us, if that's what you mean. I'm just not very good with relationships. I know that's not much of an excuse to give a woman, but yes, we parted badly, but so do a lot of people. Well, without killing each other. Can you think of anyone that'll want her dead? No. She was a lovely, beautiful person. Yeah, no. Me either. So, um, where were you last night? I was at home in bed from about ten till six, and before that I was here working. Alone? Yeah, at home. Here? Yeah, I, I was with him. We had some specs to go over. <laughs> Maybe your new mates out here, they could, they could vouch for that. <laughs> oh, that'd be a first. They hate our guts. <laughs> These bloody idiots, they should get a life. No, but that's the point, isn't it? Someone's trying to take one away from them. Oh, right, I'm a property developer. The devil on earth. Papers aren't interested in writing anything about what good I'm doing for these people. <laughs> Generous compensations I've made for their houses. Yeah, it's just the press, you know? Yeah, Todd, Todd. And... Is there anything else? I'm pretty busy. Uh, yeah, uh, Elise Pritchard. Do you know her? <sighs> yeah, Sandra's flatmate. Uh, I've met her once or twice. She's a pretty weird lady. I don't know her that well. Do you know where we could find her? No. You could try Sandra's boat or her beach house. Todd can give you the address. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. No, no, no. Well, it's nice to be trouble. Yeah, the house is uh, the last one on Cullen Road, right on the beach. And yeah, what about the boat? Um, I'm not sure about that. I think it's like uh, Starburst or okay. Starlight. Yeah, yeah, we'll check it out. Thanks yeah. yeah, for okay. trouble. Okay. Yeah. Local boys reckon there's nothing at the beach house. It's been empty for a while. Got anything there? Yeah. That's the name of the boat you're after, isn't it? Yep, that's her. Hello? I get spaced out on these, Elise. Or whatever. You can't remember what happened between you and Sandra? Just... Just what? We fought. I threw a vase and she scratched me. What else? Well, I woke up. I saw blood. I saw her. Oh, I couldn't believe what I'd done. I, I ran. Okay, what were you fighting about? Oh, well, she gets all the jobs, not me. I hate her. I don't know about you, but that cut on her face was a couple of days old. 
Elise, can you actually remember killing Sandra? No, I can't. <sighs> Not like Sammy. He's Sammy. He's my goldfish. I swallowed him. I can remember doing that. So why can't I remember killing Sandra? Oh man, did I do this? Is this how you remember it? I suppose, except she's gone. So where was she? She was lying here. I remember because I had to step over her when I... Oh man. So Sandra, she fell through this glass partition, is that what happened? I don't know, I can't remember. Hang on, that's where the vase hit the wall, just there. So it didn't hit her? I, I don't know. Well, there's no mention of a vase in the crime scene preliminary. If she threw the vase the same time as she got the scratches, Jack's right. Argument could have happened days ago. The vase got cleaned up. Well, regardless of what happened, right, she's still in the frame. She's alert. Oh, no. Paris, New York, Fashion Week. Our tapes, we kept all our tapes here of shows, promos and showreels, but why would someone want to... The party tape. The party tape? Yeah, Sandra's tape, everybody knew about it. It was um, this party that we had at the beach house, local pollies, Matthew and his mates. Sandra made this secret tape, set it up without telling anybody. Why? Bit of a joke to piss Matt off, they were having problems. What was on it? I don't know. Anything. Everything. Drugs. Sex. Deals. It's all a blur. That's what parties are for, aren't they? Yeah, it could all be a load of crap. Could be a dozen people with a motive as well, you know. Sondra tries to blackmail them. They kill out and they steal the tape. No, not Elise. I mean, you know, blackmailing a flatmate. Why not? Well, I don't see someone her size carrying the body out the flat well, She could have had help, right? There's blood all over the clothes. There's jealousy. There's a history of violence. So I'm just going to drop Miss Pritchard at a friend's house? No more disappearing, all right? I promise. Yeah, we'll talk again tomorrow. Ten o'clock, my office. Where to from here? Oh, we might go and see your old school buddy, Matthew Grierson, and see if we can find out about this tape. Yeah, I guess he could tell you about who was at the party. Yeah, the tape could be a motive for him to kill Sandra as well. It's ridiculous, Roby. These clowns off my runabout and get off my wall. But it's not yours! Hey, 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 hey! And you back it up. It's all bloody personal, Roby, and you know it. Come here. Right, you lot, that's the pontoon. Get off now. So what did Mr Grierson mean when he said that your campaign against him was personal? The guy's an egomaniac, that's all. Assumes everything's about him. Men like Grierson can't see the bigger picture. How people's lives get sacrificed in the name Hang of on, development. You gain access to a restricted area, right? You put up a bloody great banner, we find a body a hundred yards away, you still claim it's not personal? Body? Well, that had nothing to do with me. Her name was Sandra McIntyre, mate. She's an ex-girlfriend of Mr Grierson's. You can't get more personal than that. I don't know anything about how she died. So you don't know the Sandra McIntyre? Well, I saw her a few times at the development site. Mm -hmm. Did you ever speak to her? I tried telling her what an arsehole her boyfriend was. Wrench already knew. I said she got it all on tape. Oh, this tape. Was it made at a party? Well, everyone knows about that. There's supposed to be stuff on it that'll make Grierson look bad. And that bitch, Marie Chapel. Who? Not into local politics. Councillor Chapel. She's getting a kickback from Grierson for this marina. It wouldn't be the first time either. What I wouldn't give to stick a copy of that tape on the desk of every journal in town.
That's you. Why? I'm a detective now. I work with Jack Christie. I see, I think. Look, I understand if you want me to piss off. No. Of course not. Come in. Is this an official visit? No. So well for yourself, Matt. I always thought you would. I haven't changed. You look wonderful. You know the way things are going. It's it's going to be really hard for me to do my job and avoid seeing you. Are you married for five years. I know. Anything. Anything would have been better than nothing. No, but you would have tried to get me to stay, Matt. Yeah, well, I wasn't the one who left. You didn't give me a chance. It was hard enough breaking up. I guess it's been hard for both of us. But that's why I wanted to see you before we got caught up professionally. You know, I just... I, I thought it might be awkward. Job still comes first, as always, I see. I see you haven't changed either. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, I should. No, don't, don't, please don't. Please. Mr. Grierson, a few questions. Yeah, that's fine. Our business can wait. It might be better if we spoke to Mr. Grierson alone. Well, I thought you worked with each other. Not much. No, that's okay. Look, um, we've finished here. I can see myself out, Matt. tape existed, really. <laughs> Sit down. Just one of Sondra's little games. Well, the point is, if anyone else did, it might be important. Well, there's a motive to kill her. I mean... Well, that's what we're trying to ascertain at this stage, Mr. Greeson. Do you mind giving us a list of the guests that were at this party? <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, they're my friends. <laughs> important business associates, political contacts. Murray Chapel, Councillor Chapel. Why don't you ask her? Well, if you don't believe this tape exists, then what's the problem? It's the principal detective. Even people like me have them. No one likes to be seen as a dobber. But I'll give you the list if it helps you catch the person who killed Sandra. That is the most important thing, isn't it? All this money and he's knocking over people's houses for a living. Don't let him get to you, Jack. Just let him be. Listen, mate, you know, I don't appreciate being asked to leave when you want to interview a witness. And I don't appreciate finding you having a cosy little drink with a witness. Listen, no, mate, that a suspect. Mate, I was just trying to get rid of some personal stuff so I could get on with my job. Well, if I find one of my D's has got some personal stuff going on, then I'd like to find out about it up front. 
I'm good enough at my job to stand back if there's a conflict of interest, all right? And unless there is, my private life is... Is your private life? Private, mate. I don't want her anyway. Uh, <clears throat> right, Mrs Chappell, uh, this party. Yes, I was there. And no, I know nothing about any tape recordings, video or otherwise. Right, uh, well, if the tape exists, uh, what might be on it? Sex, drugs. Any like money changing hands? I deal with enough muckrakers in the press without having to put up with this kind of insinuation here. Mm. Councillor Chapel, we're investigating a murder. And the suggestion's been made that some financial incentives were paid to you. Have they really? Let me guess by whom. See, if this tape exists, right? You could be open to blackmail. Look, I know nothing about any tape, and I was at home asleep at the time of Sandra McIntyre's murder. Look, Geoffrey, this is a waste of my time and of yours. Now, I'm a busy woman, so if you'll excuse me. Yep, yeah, sure, no problem. Yep, yeah. get a door, you Jack. Thanks for coming in. Well, that went really well, too. Nobody touch your precious bloody office. Well, this is a peaceful demonstration. Yeah, and one you were told to terminate yesterday. And that means all of you. Now, we've already told you, you've got to move these people on. Now, give us a break. OK. OK. We're going. But we'll make ourselves heard elsewhere. Yeah. You can bet no, on you're it. You're in bloody jail, you won't. Look, I knew it was these bastards who broke into yeah, the office. Right, eh? OK, listen, I'll leave you to the detectives. You've got two hours, Roby. And Sean? Hey, Todd. I'm going to come back and check. Alex, how you doing? You're a detective now. I'm working this case. Does, does Matthew know? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him last night. Um, you said someone broke into your office. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, mate. <sighs> look at this. Yeah, nice job. Anything missing? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked yet. What about tapes? Tapes? Yeah, there were a whole bunch of videotapes here yesterday. Remember I had one in my hand? What were they of? Um, they're promo tapes for the marina. We, um, send them out to prospective investors and... Uh... What's up, Todd? Oh, nothing, no. It's just that, um, I have to get new dubs done. It's an important selling tool. This is no coincidence. We've got tape stolen from Sondra's apartment, tape stolen from the Grierson's. I would love to know what is on that tape. Do right, you want to check out the phone numbers on this list? Might give us a better idea. All the people at the party got it from Matthew Grierson's this morning. Y yeah, what about the uh, break-in at the marina? No, Mick, you can do that, mate. Yeah, sure, Jack. And Elise Pritchard? She's obviously forgotten. She's supposed to come in here and see us today. You just want to look after the list. It's important, you know? All right? Nice big list. Hey Mick, why the bloody hell did you take her to the marina? Well, you weren't here. You were busy, Jack. <laughs> she rides in the back seat on this one, right? So we found out what the bloody hell is going on. Why don't you be straight with her? Why do you ask her? I mean, look, all this pussyfooting around is just screwing everything up anyway, Jack. You're looking very fair. We don't know what's on the tape, right? There might be a great sort of a boyfriend. <laughs> that old bloody old person or something, mate. There might be something on there that leads into some dodgy politician, you know? <laughs> Thanks for telling me there's graft involved as well as sex and drugs. Should make going through that list a little more constructive, don't you think? Yeah. Anything else you want no, to tell me? Fine. You sure? I think it's time we check to see if Robe and his mates are packed up. What, spoils such a beautiful day, Sarge? Besides, it's got to be lunchtime, doesn't it? Do you reckon they do those really fantastic sandwiches down at the ferry terminal? You know, the ones with the prawns? Oh, the... yeah. They do? Oh, yeah. They've been around for ages, haven't they? Yeah. They're good. You were talking about Hennessy's on Harris, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're good. Can you grab me a sandbar while you're there? Money! No, I've got to hit the news agency, so I'll buy you a sketchy, OK?
I heard Alan scream, so I uh, came around the corner. The gun went off, and then I uh, saw this. Excuse, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, sorry, I need to can't... speak to her. No, I'm sorry. Officer, officer, I just sorry. had to thank you for what you did. <laughs> that man. Boy, this is boy. With a gun. You saved my daughter's life. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you. Go home. Sorry, sorry. It's lost a lot of blood. It's going to be touch and go, Helen. Ballistics will want your gun. And... Statements, yeah. Don't test and the drill. I wouldn't even question it, Sarge. He's going to shoot her. Not with this gun, he wasn't. It's plastic. Mm -hmm. Is she going to be OK? She's still being shocked. I mean, how'd you go to the B&E at the marina? Oh, yeah, one of the protesters said they saw a car there last night. Gave me a partial description, partial number plate. I ran it through the RTA, and guess what? Came up cancel-owned, assigned to a one Murray chap. Oh, OK, we got people to see. I'll toss you for it. Who do you want? You want the councillor or the space cadet? <laughs> Have you found her yet? <laughs> no, fine. That's part of the job. Come on. All right, heads. Tails, mate, we both lose. Yeah. You get a lose, I get the counsellor. Well, you're gonna have a friendly woman or woman chat, are you, Jack? Hey, Sinclair, you wanna come with me? I'm still going with this uh, long list here, it's very important. Hey, it's once only off, huh? Yeah, hang on, I'm coming. I'll be speaking to Jeff Hawker about this. I don't like being ambushed. There was a break-in at the Grierson Marina development last night. Your car was seen in the vicinity. And I'll bet it was one of Sean Roby's friends who told you that, wasn't yeah. it? Well, I'm not at liberty to tell you. I can tell you it was the same people that splashed paint on my car. What are you going to do about that? Don't you see that Roby's trying to make political capital out of implicating me in this supposed break-in? You should be hounding him, not me. Let's go. Checks. He was off duty last night, or so he says. Yeah, she was at home working, so she says. Doesn't mean she didn't take off in her car on her own. All right. Have a look at that tape. Is that a professional interest? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. That'd be great. Um, if you can take my hand and dry mine. Okay. It's nice, it smells really good. It's fine. Sandra's blackmailing someone, right? They come looking for the tape, she ends up dead. You know, there's plenty of suspects. There's ex-boyfriends, there's politicians. And there's this girl, her flatmate, Elise. It's fine, excellent. Let's keep it up. It's great, it's good. My name is Pritchard. Oh, the policeman. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, I'm good. You're supposed to come in for an interview today. What happened? Oh, shit, I forgot. Um, this number's gonna be a minute. Can you hang around? Yeah, for a minute I can. Drug problems, history of violence, she's jealous of Sandra, she's got her blood all over her, and she's the last known person to see her alive. Nice light Okay, now smile. All the circumstantial evidence points to this girl. Spaced out druggy or just an act. They're here. Right. You have not done a drug test for a shoot before, have you? Uh, no, but I know what to expect. All right, well, let's just go over it again. I want to make it perfectly clear. I don't want you getting thrown by anything, all right? Okay. They'll need some sort of clear identification. Um, driver's license will do. And then they're going to check you to see if you're in possession of anything that you might be able to tamper with the urine test with. And then they're going to check the toilet cubicle to make sure there's nothing concealed that could tamper with the sample either. They'll supervise the washing of your hands prior and they'll give you three separate containers, all right? And these will be given straight to the collector afterwards for a temperature test. Then they'll be sealed and initialed by both of you. Then the samples go with a chain of custody to be analysed. Now remember, you must provide a sample in each of the three jars. Toilet door remains open during this period. Then it's just a waiting game, Helen. You'll be right. Don't worry about it. You've got nothing to hide. Gotcha. 
left your message. What are you doing here? Oh, I didn't think I should come up to the office. I need to talk to you, Harry. Well, not here, not now. Then when? Th this is difficult for me. Don't give me that crap about it's your job. I mean, that's just an excuse, isn't it? So she can run away from me like you did last time. Look, this has got nothing to do with my job. It's because there's something still going on between us now, isn't there? Come on, Ali. Help me out here. Am I the only one who's feeling this? It's so hopeless. Call me. Yes, sir, I saw it. And I think it was a clean shot. Sergeant Blakemore didn't have any choice. The offender was going to shoot the child. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had her with his arm across her chest and... Oh, I don't know how she did it, but somehow she, she broke free. Um, no, I didn't actually see him pointing the gun at her, but... Then he swung it across towards the child. OK, I heard, uh, I heard Sergeant Blakemore warn the offender to lay down his weapon. But he didn't, so I fired. I heard the shot as I came around the corner. I saw him fall. And then, uh, Senior Constable Sykes appeared. So, no, sir, uh, you're right, I, um... Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually see the moment that, uh, that she shot him, no. Oh, God. It's like a, like a car accident. You know, the more you think about it, the more you realise that you didn't actually see the accident, it's just this, this almighty bang that got your attention. Yeah, I know, Gab, I know. Helen. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but I, did, I just didn't know what to say, you know? Did you tell the truth? Yeah, I told the truth. It's all that matters. She's right, Gab, you can't do anything more than that. You may go home, all right? Just, you know, call your girlfriend up, have a nice dinner. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be very good, good, very good company right now, thanks, right, Jack. All right, give it a run. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. In here, please, ma'am. Hey, Mick, where are you been? Don't blame Come him. On, I was What's ages getting changed. Um, where's the ladies? I need to pee. You for real? She wants to pee. You want to show her where she can have a pee now? Why didn't you tell me when we were down that end of the hallway? There's a Mr. Todd Grierson downstairs. Said he was told to come in and make a formal statement about a break-in. It's a zoo. It's the whole place. We're working in a zoo. It's a zoo. Miss Prickett, it's time to... In a police station? Gee, that's dumb. Now I'm going to have to book it for possession. If it's everything you just told me, then just sign at the bottom, yep. Todd. Yep, looks fine. OK. OK, I'll see you out. Right. Yeah, so how's it been going, anyway? How's the, uh, you know, any idea who killed Sondra yet? Oh, come on, Todd, I can't tell you that. No, no, I suppose not. It's just... Oh, it's all this stuff with, um, you know, tapes and secret dealings with the council. I mean, I don't mean to sound mercenary, but it's uh, not doing us any good. Who's more worried about it, you or Matthew? Well, I'm worried about the business. I think he's more worried about you. Yeah, he told me he, he spoke to you. Yeah. Just, just be careful. Don't, don't fall for him again. This is not your business, Todd. Yeah, I know. It's just... Um, he's not the guy you were in love with back then. It's just probably best left alone. See ya. See ya. Hey, you okay? I've seen better days, Jack, you know. Well, if you want to have a couple of beers after work, swap stories. I've got some doozies. Thanks, but I've already told mine a couple of times today already, you know. I'll have to change mine. What if he dies, Jack? He's just a kid. He's a stupid bloody kid with a stupid bloody plastic gun!
Right, the tape, right? The party. Anything you can remember. Um, we drank a lot, I remember that. You know, we got pretty drunk and stoned. Quite a few people were stoned. Thanks for coming. I owe you an apology. I loved you, Ali. and I drove all the way to the house. A room full of our friends. Is there anything that you can actually remember about this night, Elise? Yeah. Well, the first few hours, at least, anyway. <laughs> Where was the camera set up? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Sandra said after it was in the bedroom wardrobe. All right. And, and what did you see? Uh, you know, what was going on? Just the usual. Drugs. Sex. Just felt wrong. It just wasn't me. Well, it wasn't you. Me. I don't know what... I didn't know what to do. No, I just... Uh, kept going. Kept driving. He didn't love me. It was everything. It was, it was you, my family. I just started out as a cop and all you guys kept saying, this is a phase you're going through. You know, you were all trying to turn me into something that I wasn't. Any money changing hands? Um... Dunno. I was too busy trying to get rid of Matthew. Every time Sandra was somewhere else, he was hanging around, giving me the come on, you know. He was all over me, not that I took it seriously. I mean, Matt screws anything that moves. It's not as if I haven't had other women, but... It's just... It just... wasn't you. I mean... When I was with you, it was right. I mean, I've just never had that feeling with any other woman. Never. That night in the bedroom. Dunno. Look, I slept with him, all right? Not that night, but he was hot for it and a few days after. Anyway, Sandra found out, that's what started us fighting. That's what this was about. I did love you. Now maybe if I'd been older, I'd have known what to do. And now you're older?
you think he killed her? I don't know. I think he's capable of it. He usually gets what he wants. I think he's capable of anything. <laughs>